working with Joanna on this Polish History Day meeting. Um, can I just welcome everybody to the to this Zoom meeting and in, uh, hand over to Joanna to talk about um, what we're going to, the, the subject of the meeting, which is Anders Artists in the Middle East. Thank you very much, everybody. Joanna. Thank you. Thank you, David. That was David Knight uh, from Acton History Group. And for the second uh, year, uh, we've been linked with Acton History Group. We are members, Anthony and myself. Uh, and we um, organized this Polish Heritage Days events uh, to celebrate the Poles who live uh, in England and in Britain and who uh, hopefully contribute to this society. And because we live in this multicultural society, it is a good idea to get to know one another, to uh, learn about one another. And we are grateful to the embassy of the Republic of Poland in the UK, who uh, support our project. And we are honored that ours was one of this uh, that were uh, approved by the embassy this year. So as you know, we this year, this May, we offer three uh, walks. We've already had one and there are two upcoming. Uh, uh, and today is the only online event, unlike last year when we had several. And in this online event, we celebrate art. And that's why we titled our event make art not war. Um, it is to do with the artists, uh, soldiers in the Polish army in the East under the leadership of command of uh, General Anders, Władysław Anders, uh, who, uh, cre who, cre who formed, who created this army uh, after the turn in the Second World War, when um, Germany suddenly became enemy of the Soviet Union by attacking uh, that country. Uh, this meant a uh, change on the chessboard of the world politics and uh, the, the Soviet Union uh, allowed the Polish uh, people, Polish soldiers, and uh, their families to leave uh, their country and to form an army. And uh, General Władysław Anders was uh, commissioned with the task of forming this army. Uh, I have a, I, I've noticed a question, the noise. Uh, yes, so can, can anybody hear the noise? Yes, um, yes. I started when you started speaking. 
Okay, so when I speak, can you still hear the noise? Yes. Yes. Oh. Maybe if I turn mine off. Yes, please turn yours off. And let's see if it changes. Sorry about that. Yes, Tony? Now, everybody, please tell me. Yes, it sounds, it, well, sounds, it sounds it better. Sounds, it disappeared, yeah, but continue talking. Oh, okay. oh. excellent. Okay. 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 okay, okay, okay. Yes, so Tony is joining me now here. <laughs> but I think the screen is not big enough to, to fit him in. Show your, your face. Yeah. Just a little bit. Okay. Good, Tony. Sorry. The curtain is uh, overpowering. <laughs> faces. Uh, so I was talking about uh, I'm trying to give you just a little picture because I'm not sure uh, whether all our uh, attendees are aware of this bit of history and of course we can talk about it uh, all the time through the two hours and not finish but this is not the point because today our meeting make art not war is about these artist soldiers who uh, found themselves in the newly formed corps uh, led by General Władysław Anders, uh, first in the Soviet Union. And then when the situation was too difficult, they didn't have enough uh, arms, they didn't have enough uh, uh, sustenance, they uh, were helped to go to, I mean, they made their way to uh, first to Persia, some of them straight away to, um, to Iraq, uh, without going over through the Caspian Sea. And um, the civilians uh, were looked after in Persia and then sent to other countries, whereas the army went to Baghdad. Some of the army stayed there longer because that was the need, because there was um, a the fear that uh, the Germans may attack the oil fields in Iraq and some Poles stayed to, to, to defend that. And uh, this created this opportunity for the soldiers, for the artists to get to know the artistic uh, intellectual community of uh, Baghdad and of Iraq. And this is where our speaker, Yusuf Nasser, a very well known Iraqi painter, poet, journalist, and somebody really interest in, interested in the, the topic of this meeting of Western, of the Western and Eastern art. A meeting of the Orient and Occident, and Occident, and um, he spent quite a lot of time trying to get to the sources in the Arab archives and in other archives here in Britain, but it's been difficult for him. On the other hand, I would like to mention a Polish researcher, Professor Jan Viktor Sienkiewicz who in Poland, from Poland, uh, carried out such research of the fate and of these influences, uh, um, Eastern influences upon the Polish artists uh, during their stay in the Middle East. And he published a book, which, which we have, it's in your room, uh, but it's not yet translated into English. And we hope by through our event, we'll be able to, to maybe inspire some publishers, some uh, sponsor to, to make this happen so the world could learn about this fascinating and little known phenomenon. And Yosef's contribution will show us the, the, the Middle Eastern perspective onto this. Now about artists, you know, because why artists in the army? Because I mean, in every uh, strata of society, there are some artists, but these artists um, and intellectuals and writers and uh, all sorts of uh, educated people 
found themselves um, in the army because Poland uh, needed to be freed again, because the course of war uh, caused Poland divided between the two superpowers, uh, Germany, who attacked on the 1st of September 1939, and uh, the Soviet Russia, who attacked just over two weeks later on the 17th of September as a result of a secret pact, uh, Ribbentrop Molotov. And then when the, in turn, as I mentioned, Germany attacked Soviet Union, then uh, uh, there was another pact because there was the need, the Poles were needed to, to be, become allies with, with the, the Soviet Union. So there was a pact between Sikorsky and uh, Maisky on the Soviet side. And as a result of that, the Poles were put in uh, prisoners of war camps or uh, the, who were sent deep into um, Soviet Union, into labor camps. They, they were freed and allowed uh, to form the army. And luckily, uh, Sikorsky and Anders made sure that the, the families and the, uh, of the soldiers and also the orphans would be allowed to, to leave the country. Last year at our uh, days, we heard a short version of the story from Josip. So we truly look forward to, to listening to him today. Would you like to add anything? I, I just, just as a, a kind of outsider, um, I, I find it very interesting that, and I've talked with this through with, with Yusuf and with Zuhair, is that um, you've got a meeting of people from the West, from Western Europe, from a country that had only become independent 30 years beforehand, before the war, after 200 years of being divided into three. Uh, Okay, and along also uh, a meeting with people from Iraq who had also been released in a, a slightly similar manner after the First World War in 400 years of Ottoman domination. So there's a, there's a sort of a kind of a freedom of people finding each other and finding a similarity of, of ideas and practices and and enjoying each other really, um, sharing of each other. And rather contrast, which Yusuf's going to talk about, slight contrast to the way the British were behaving at the time. Um, so Yusuf will maybe tell us a bit of a story about that. But uh, it's a very, very interesting meeting of, of two seemingly different cultures. But I mean, the, the artists that Yusuf's going to talk about had been had some training in Europe beforehand. And so we're, we're to some extent aware, but uh, I think the, the Polish artists being in Baghdad gave, gave them an impetus to, to go further along the way they wanted to, the way they were, they were finding. Anyway, over to Yusuf. Over to Yusuf. Yes. And later on, of course, you can uh, ask questions in, uh, uh, there is this option, if you look, I, I'm sure everybody is familiar with Zoom by now, but you know, there are these different patterns. So if you, if you want to ask a question, you can write it there. And later on, we will have a session where we will re read out these questions. There will be a break in between, and it's good to remain muted unless you are speaking. What else? What other rules should we mention? Yes, and after we we ask Yosef, uh, and if you have questions to ask, after that we can still um, enjoy discussing, talking about relevant things because the the the, the subject is fascinating, and you know the la the the Second World War was supposed to be the last one, and we all know what is happening. Has been happening. Thank you. Is it me now? I can't hear you. Yes, please, Yusuf. Oh, 
Okay. Yes. Uh, well, hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a bit messy here. So don't expect me to be very prepared. Uh, I was, but uh, things seem to be mixed up. Uh, I talked about this subject before, uh, not for long uh, uh, talks, but uh, I mentioned it here and there. Uh, but as I, I am not a historian or art historian, or, I'm only an artist and happened to two or three of the uh, of the artist who met the Polish uh, uh, soldier artist in Baghdad uh, became my teachers. I'm not uh, like a special uh, uh, student to to these teachers. When uh, one of them is an important one was uh, Faik Hassan. Uh, this man lived long. I mean, he was born nineteen. 14 and he died in 1992 so and he has 50 years of teaching so he taught lots of people and uh, most of the Iraqi artists in Europe now I mean after the diaspora of the Iraqi artists uh, were taught by him the problem with the way I I understand the subject is that I became aware of it only when I'm in Europe so I'm away from Baghdad, where I can find some resources there, or maybe go to some uh, to find some documents, especially the uh, Iraqi uh, document library, which is a massive one, has been burnt when the American invaded Baghdad. It was burned down completely, nothing left from it. Uh, I tried with friends from from Iraq to find something, but all. I found was actually not enough to make something we call a study of the, of the whole subject. Uh, one of the uh, journalists, which I used to have mentioned, his, should mention his name, he's a writer actually. Uh, I, I used his, uh, I depend on a lot on what he wrote, called Ahmed Hussein. He's Iraqi artist, live in, in, in Denmark. And he said, uh, uh, only in 1964, when an art uh, critic uh, called Jabra Ibrahim Jabra, he's a Palestinian Iraqi, who lived since 1940 something in Iraq, or maybe 1930 something in Iraq, uh, after he published Jawad Salim, our pioneer artist who met the Polish and who was a friend to them. Uh, after Jabra published Jawad's memoirs, then people, uh, that was 1964, people became aware of something called the Polish artist issue. People were not aware of that. They just mentioned it here and there. They just put a reference to it and they, you know, some pictures, but until Jawad, until uh, Jawad's memoirs was published, we were not aware about how deep the subject was. I uh, started following the subject in Europe here, in, in, in Britain, which I couldn't find a lot of uh, uh, references to it. So. I urged some Polish friends to, to look for the history of the matter. But we didn't get much from that as well. There is an Iraqi uh, art uh, historian or critic uh, lived in Denmark who tried to find something about it. And the Iraqi Communist Party have uh, a season uh, cultural magazine where they publish a long article about the Polish artists. This has made it very uh, 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 popular for, I mean, lots of artists, especially artists start uh, 
becoming aware of it, but they don't know much details, even me. All I know now, I will, I will tell you, not all, of course, but I, I know things I'll tell you about. And I hope that the Polish authorities and Polish artists will uh, start to have some interest in the subject and bring it to light. Because it's very important, I mean, especially for us, maybe in Iraq, it's very important. Uh, and maybe for the art, the history of uh, Polish art, especially when the Polish art had influence on Iraqi art for a long time. Even when I was a student in the Academy of Fine Art in the 70s, we were talking about Polish art and we actually, we collect the main like beautiful and very important magazine called the project which i have here some copies from it i lost my copies in baghdad when i had to escape from the country but i found some here in the carboot cell which i bought which is this one you see do you see that Project. Yes, Yosif, thank you very much. Yeah. You know, we have we, we have our microphone switched off, so we need to switch on. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So it's there are many of it. I have I have it now. Uh, so that's why I hope through this meeting uh, somebody people can well, this could help to make people aware of this subject. Now uh, who are these artists? I mean, where did they come from? Or how many of them? Or what did they do in Baghdad? This is what we, we need to, to know. Uh, during, like Joanna just said, uh, World War II, uh, many Polish soldiers and civilians came to Baghdad, mainly from Iran. And that mean, meant they came from the Soviet Union. Uh, there were many of them were prisoners, war prisoners in, in, in the Soviet Union. And they were released during the after the, the, the Soviets joined the Allied in the war. But some of them came from Palestine and some from Egypt as well. And they say some come from other places, which I don't know where, to be honest. Uh, but maybe they came with the British army from the UK because there were so many uh, 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 Polish uh, personnel, I mean, military personnel in the UK at the time. And the British army invaded Iraq in 1941. So these soldiers came with them. Uh, and the British needed some uh, uh, not active soldiers, but uh, 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 logistic soldiers who care about the logistics of the army and that's was the main uh, job for the for the polish uh, uh, soldiers in within the british army in iraq they situated in many places in, in iraq to the north and the south mainly to 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 protect the uh, oil pipes and oil wells and and to to protect the roads and and the railways which connect iraq to iran and to turkey which was very important for for for, for the british army because in, at the time the british army was involved in the al alamein uh, uh, war in egypt with germany and iraq was the main like uh, 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 food basket let's say, to the British army at the time. And we have so many things, maybe sometimes funny things. Uh, people remember, even my family, they remember it in Iraq where the British took everything you can eat from the market. And they took even the sugar. There's no sugar, for example. And the people start using dates with the tea instead of sugar. Uh, and they took all the coins because it, they, they need that coin for something, I don't know what. So there were no coins in, in, in Iraq, in the market to buy anything. And that the, the, 
the paper currency was not available. Uh, so people start exchanging goods because they took all this metal things and brought it here to use it in, in, in the country. So there are lots of things. Uh, uh, the Polish were to uh, protect uh, what the, I mean, mainly uh, the supplies to, to the British army, but they were not formed as a, as an army themselves. They were with the British army until, uh, uh, let me just go, uh, in 1942, uh, in uh, September, uh, many of them arrived uh, under the uh, uh, General uh, uh, Midland Wilson. And they, they made their main uh, uh, office like in Baghdad. And then in, 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 in November, uh, General uh, Fwadswaf Sikorski, and he was the, uh, the head of the Polish government, as I know, as I understand, uh, in exile. And he was the uh, general uh, uh, leader for for for, uh, for Polish army at the time, and he he decided to uh, to inform the the, uh, the British uh, the, the Polish army, uh, which consists of all the Polish units were following the British army in Iraq, and in Egypt, and in Iran and in Palestine, they brought them all together and put them to Baghdad, and then they formed the uh, Polish army in exile. And they put the uh, uh, General Anders uh, as the head of that army. And General Anders was uh, situated in Baghdad. He came to Baghdad after that. Baghdad is the capital of Iraq. Uh, they gave them many like uh, uh, bases and uh, uh, different places in Iraq, in the north and the west and east, south and uh, Basra at the south, uh, mainly in Basra. Uh, there were about 70,000 of them came uh, to, to Baghdad, uh, 50,000 soldiers and military uh, personnel, uh, and the rest were civilians. Uh, In the beginning, uh, uh, they got uh, uh, help, I mean, uh, supplies and food and things from the Iraqi government itself. Uh, and they stay until, in, until August 1943, and they were with their orders to go, to go to Palestine. So it is, a very short one year and a few months, which had so big impact, very strong impact on the Iraqi cultural life. And that's why I think, because it's so important, uh, how condensed was only 14 or 16 months and had that impact. So that's why we need actually to find out what happened exactly, so why. Yusuf, how did they make connections? with the uh, how did they connect ah, that's why i'm coming to yes yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, in baghdad they have many uh, uh, establishments uh, and uh, uh, so societies uh, some of them were within the military units and some of them were in baghdad itself uh, among you know, the Iraqis. Uh, something like uh, the diplomatic uh, commission in Baghdad. By the way, the Iraqi government were one of the first governments in the world to acknowledge the Polish government in exile. That was through the diplomatic uh, commission in Baghdad. 
and there is the uh, Polish Red Cross office and uh, uh, the uh, 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 the Bureau of Culture of the Polish Army, which is in Baghdad. Uh, and that was situated in Shar al Rashid, which is the, 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 the most like famous street in Baghdad until now. And they the, and their office, I asked about the office. The office is still there, actually. Although the change used, but they, they use it for something else, but, but the same office is still there. Uh, that was near a coffee, a very famous coffee called the Brazilian coffee. And that was the coffee where uh, in the intellectual, the Iraqi intellectual poets, uh, writers, uh, artists, and politicians as well, used to meet there. It's a beautiful, like very European uh, uh, cafe. And I saw it I, I, when I was in Baghdad, it was still there. It was different to the rest of the, our, uh, like all cafes in, in, in Iraq or maybe in the East. It's different, it's very English cafe they call the brazilian uh, so they they the, the polish office were quite close to that they go every day to drink their coffee and to talk and to find newspapers and so on uh, and in there there were some young iraqi artists and poets used to meet there and they met with the polish these artists two of them was or three of them were studying art in Paris and in London. But during the war, they ordered them to go back to Iraq. So they cut their study and they came back to Iraq. Before that, the, the Iraqi government started something, the, the, the Iraqi uh, uh, Art Institute in Baghdad, which was teaching only music. Eastern and classical music. But these guys who, who were sent to, to, to Europe, uh, when they came back, they started the, established the, uh, uh, the plastic art uh, section in this institute. It was a small uh, and new, but these young artists started the, the, the painting, sculpture, and uh, murals uh, 1940. When they met the Polish, they were very young actually, in their 20s. Uh, and the, forgot to mention uh, uh, that the uh, there was a Polish restaurant in Shara al Rashid, the same Rashid street called uh, the Polska. And that was like a gallery by itself, it's not only a restaurant. And one of the uh, journalists at the time wrote something. He said he saw a poster on the door of the, of the restaurant made by Jawad Salim, our pioneer. And that could be the first poster was made in Iraq. We unfortunately do not have a photograph of that, of that poster. Uh, the Polish in Baghdad uh, uh, published three uh, newspapers uh, in Polish and English. One called the uh, Polish News, which is a daily, and the White Eagle, it's a cultural uh, newspaper uh, once a week, so weekly, and uh, a religious like newspaper. Religious is that right word? I don't know. Uh, uh, it's called the, the the Holy Name, and that's uh, uh, fortnightly. They all published in Baghdad and distributed in the Middle East. Uh, and the Polish formed uh, 
uh, a group like uh, a musical popular Polish group, popular music. Oh, what, how do I say that? I don't know. Uh, uh, a dancing and the music school for uh, a group uh, to perform uh, Polish folk in Baghdad. Uh, and uh, uh, the most important thing was for me, uh, I think, was the, uh, the Polish uh, mobile theater, which I will show you some of its photographs uh, which have been taken in Baghdad. Uh, there were, of course, artists among the soldiers, uh, theater people, writers, uh, musicians, uh, politicians. In general, we count in Iraq, in the Iraqi papers, there were 30 uh, uh, artists, male and female, among the uh, Polish community there. And some of them are big names and still we know them, but the, because people in Iraq did not write much about them at the time. So only a few names stay in, 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 in the public domains. They, they forgot about the rest, but I have a list of these names here, which is long now to, to go on. Not many people wrote about uh, the inside of the Polish community, the artist Polish community, apart from Jawad Selim. He was young and he, he was very fond of them. And uh, I, will, I, will, I will read to you his testament. Uh, he, he wrote his memoirs daily about his, part of it was about his relation with the Polish artist in Baghdad. Uh, Yusuf Jabiski was the main name, and still actually until now, actually. He's a great artist, and because he was a friend to Jawad Selim. And Jawad Selim is the pioneer, is the biggest name in Iraqi modern art movement. Uh, and Jabiski himself was the general manager for the culture of. Uh, the Culture and Information Bureau in the uh, Polish Army in the East. That was his post. Uh, his, he was not only a, a, a painter, but he was uh, an art critic and he was a writer. That's why he was very influential on these young people when he could talk to them about their own art. And what they should do, how, what, how, how do the, he, he see it? Uh, because these young artists really wanted to know how do, does the West look at them? For example, one of my teachers, uh, uh, Hafez Darubi, who studied in the slate here, he said, uh, uh, actually, we, we were like, because of the Polish people, because of Polish artists, uh, we were thinking about our habitat or environment but when i start painting i always think about the european exercise of painting because there is no they they became to this uh, uh, understanding that there is only one practice to art to plastic art which is the european practice there is no nothing else and even the the other the eastern practice should go through the uh, uh, the uh, European technique and material. Uh, in the East, it is it's a different matter. It's a different way of, of practicing art. Uh, and he said, if we want to start an academy of fine art, an institution of fine art in Baghdad, we should follow the European practice. These Polish people gave us very good keys how to enter how to uh, explore the Polish, uh, the, 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 the European practice of art. How do the Europeans approach art? Uh, uh, technically and theoretically. The, the, 
one of the art uh, writers said uh, uh, he he saw himself that many articles in the Polish art in the Polish newspapers published in Baghdad about the uh, art and cultural life at the time. That's why I'm, I, I ask my uh, Polish friends to, to try to find about it because it is in the archive, uh, maybe in the Polish archive, or I have a note where it could be. Uh, uh, yeah, it is in the Institute of Art History, uh, the Academy of Science, the, the Polish Academy of Science in Warsaw, uh, inclu uh, the, uh, the Department of Art, the Polish Art, during World War II. That's where this document should, should be. Uh, if that's, I mean, uh, useful to, to, to anyone who heard me. Uh, Yeah, so Javitsky himself was one of the pioneer of the new wave, wave of uh, Polish painting, modern Polish painting. Uh, and he himself was taught by a friend of uh, Pierre Bonnard, the French. And through Jabeski, uh, Pierre Bona exercise came to Iraq, and actually it's still there. If you can see it on today, and I will show you some paintings I did when I was a student in the Academy of Fine Art, and the, the control or under whatever advice with. Faik Hassan, my teacher. Uh, I will show you and some of his students as well. Okay. Some of the Polish artists took, participated in Iraqi uh, exhibitions at the time. There was one uh, uh, society called uh, the Art, the Friends of the Arts in Baghdad, formed from many young people and people who studied in Europe and some people who studied in the uh, Turkish army because they were officers in the Turkish army and they were teaching them painting as part of being officers to paint landscapes to, for you know, for, for the army reasons. Uh, so the, the friends of, of, of art in Baghdad used to exhibit their work regularly. Uh, some Polish artists participated there. Uh, in, in 19, uh, on the 17th of, of February, uh, 1942, uh, Yusuf Jabeski of 41, sorry, uh, uh, he wrote an article in the Polish news uh, magazine, and he, he called it the resources of modern art. And he talked about Iraqi art and the connection between uh, the, the, the new wave of artists and the European art, which is very important, but we don't have a copy of that, unfortunately. We just know about it, but we don't have it. Uh, the main important exhibition uh, for the Polish army soldiers was opened in Baghdad on the 15th of February in 1943. And that was opened by the king himself, the Iraqi king. Uh, and it was the, what they call it, I mean, I, I, I read many things about it, which described it as the main, uh, art event in the history of Iraqi modern art. This is the first time people can see modern art, can see European art, not printed, although uh, uh, printed material was very rare, 
but they see it live there in the and they exhibited that in the uh, British uh, Institute British Cultural Institute in Baghdad which still exists by the way in the same place uh, many people uh, attend that especially I, I wrote something here about it uh, Um, oh. Sorry, I told you I'm a bit messy today for some reason. Uh, so it's gone. No, here. Yeah. Uh, and they called it the, the exhibition of the soldier artists. That was 14th of February, 1943, uh, in the British uh, uh, Council uh, building, and there were 125 paintings and sculptures. Uh, mainly was for uh, uh, Joseph Jabsky, Yusuf Yarima, Edward Matoshak, Yishi, I think, Modinsky. Henrik Shid, well, it's difficult for me to read this. Shidlanovsky, Janita Yutishka, Richmond or Rickmond, Zygmunt Torgevich, uh, and uh, Flastmiel Hoffman, and the uh, uh, Zygmunt brothers, Har, and the uh, Zygmunt brothers, yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, Har brothers, the Zygmunt and Lobold. And these two actually had a very good connection with the Iraqi intelligence, especially with the writers and with the poets. And they start learning Arabic as well. Uh, especially with a, a, a pioneer poet called Abdul Wahab al Bayati, who wrote a very funny thing about, uh, uh, about the Polish. I, I would read that. I told you about that yesterday, I think. Uh, how, how to recognize a, a, a Polish uh, a, a Polish soldier if you see a Polish like walking with with an English person uh, let me find it it's, it's a bit funny for I mean I know it, my friends know it yeah where is it yeah by the way, there were some English artists as well, and some Russians, but uh, mainly the Polish were in domination in, in Baghdad. Uh, and he says, when you see two Polish, uh, two, two soldiers walking, one Polish and one English, uh, immediately you can't recognize the Polish because he will smile to you and he will say hello. Uh, and he is down to earth, whilst the English will look at you as a occupier. So that's, people used to hate the English, actually, in, in Baghdad, and have so much trouble with them. And actually, uh, after only a few years, the Iraqis started another revolution against the British, but they never mentioned the Polish with anything bad at all. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry for Tony, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not saying the British <laughs> So the, soldiers, the soldiers are will always back. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, here uh, I have so many testaments uh, from Iraqi artists, and I will. I will go through, I don't know, there's a bit uh, too much uh, material here. I, um, Yusuf, could you just say in, in what ways that um, the art was, was influenced in yeah. what way painting, what way your painting was influenced in? Yes. Yeah. 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 It's not mine, actually, because, you know, I'm far, I'm distant from... It's a, it's a big 
you know, it's about 50 years between me and them. Okay. So 40, let's say 40 years, yes. Between... Said and uh, uh, Jawad. Yes. Yeah. Jawad died in 1961. Yeah. He died very young, 42 years he died. Uh, I, I was taught by Faik Hassan. There are two influential artists. How do they affect? Yeah. Uh, you see, uh, Jawad, uh, uh, let, I, I wrote that actually. I wrote a note about this. Uh, and now we have to find it. I know Jawad went back to more traditional forms. Sorry, I didn't get that. Jawad went back to more traditional forms? No. Uh, early? Faik did, not Jawad. Sorry. He, uh, uh, Jawad became very close to Jabeski. Mm -hmm. Jabeski is not only an artist, he, he, he is an art critic and a writer. And Jawad have this turn to, to philosophy and art history. And that's why he put the theory, let us say, uh, uh, base for the modern Iraqi movement, art movement. But Fayyad was more interested in, in painting itself, the technique of of the colors and in, in, in the philosophy of the colors itself. That's why he became a very well-known and a very great teacher, mm -hmm. especially he, because he taught for more than 50 years. Mm -hmm. So Fayyad became close to Motshak because that man was a painter mm -hmm. more than a philosopher or a thinker. And it's very strange because they were very young, Jawad and Fayek. One of them, a colorist, and one of them is a thinker <laughs> and a sculptor. Uh, uh, when they were young, and when we, when they became older, even old, I mean, Fayek became ninety-two. He's still the same. I mean, he, he he's still the, the the painter, the one who is still try to find out about how to paint how what is the the the, the possibilities of, of 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 the colors and the techniques and whilst jawad was writing his theories and uh, the, the theories were influenced the iraqi modern art movement a lot it was put by jawad who was a friend to jabeski the 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 art critic and the writer Jawad also did that fantastic uh, sculpture across yes. the road. That one. Yeah. Shall I? Yeah. No, no. Do you want me to show you the images later, or we've got some? We could show we, if. We... Now, please, now show yeah, them. Got some. So, show well, we want to see paintings of the Polish mm. and Iraqi artists Yusuf is talking about. Yes. Okay. All right. Very important. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. How do we do that? I mean, share. Got some shared now on the screen. Yeah, Joanna's going to share. Share screen, okay. Sorry, uh, it's a confusion. I yeah. can share, but I don't know the sequence Yosef is talking about. Okay, but the because will be... so Yosef has his and he can uh, share. Yes. And I can compliment later. Yeah, I will. Uh, but the, how, how did this picture jump here? Uh, it's not the one I want to share. Very naughty picture. So maybe just if you have the theater pictures, just speak about theater and uh, we are happy to, to hear about it. And the, 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 the picture shows Loris taking the soldiers to yeah, Palestine. This, this, oh, here, look, okay, this is it. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, uh, I will come back to this series with my difficult English, sorry. I'm sorry, I, I could have done much better in Arabic. But that's what I, what I can do. <laughs> this is my trouble. So this is the uh, the theater group. Do you see that now? Can you enlarge it? 
Do you see it? Click on the painting, Yusuf. Maybe if you select that painting, it will uh, come on, or if you can enlarge it. Our screen sharing, they said. It is. We are seeing a group of paintings. Ah. Uh, click on one, and it goes to the other ones. This is, I put, I took one, which is many people are. Hmm. Do you see this? Yeah, we've still got the group. We haven't got one on its own. I don't understand why. Click on it, click on it, it should come in, come large. Yes, yes, uh, that's what I did. No. Yes, Yosif, I think now, yeah. if you first choose the picture you want to show, okay, click and double click it. You see it now? No, Yosef, because I think if you stop sharing first, then before you start sharing, All right. open the picture. Open the picture you want to show us. Okay. And then start sharing. All right. Okay. I will do that. Um, what's happened? Okay. But there's no sharing. If I start the picture. Did you open the picture now? Now you've got share screen at the bottom. Where is it? Where it's gone? You need to go back into Zoom, Yusuf. Okay, yeah. Okay. But don't close the picture. So I go share screen now. Yes. yes. Okay, I did that. Okay. Yeah. And then click on your picture. Because it shows you which uh, of the screens that are open you can share. Yeah, but I have only one file on here to share. The rest is gone. Yeah, you know, I think I have this picture somewhere. So. That's very difficult. I don't know why we did that yesterday and it worked. You said the shared window is closed. Tony has a very good suggestion. We have a five minute break because it's nearly an hour. And okay. in the meantime, we can help you sort it out. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. so everybody go and get a drink, straight, uh, get your exercise, <laughs> and we'll sort it out with you. Okay, yeah. thank you. Okay, over to you, Yosef. Yeah, okay. I just want to, to, to show you some of the images for, uh, which we talked about. This is this image is for uh, we should have seen this later because this is the uh, these are Polish army cars, you know, uh, or lorries or whatever. Uh, they're going to Palestine when they they got the orders to leave Iraq and go to Palestine. So this is the caravan on its way to to Palestine, and this is the uh, Anbar Desert, where they cross to, to Syria and then to Palestine. Uh, this is part of the Polish uh, performances in Baghdad, the theater. This is a leaflet they, they published in Baghdad, that, as you say, uh, uh, as you see, uh, 1943 uh, theater, uh, so this is the, the thing. The, and here they prepare some uh, decorative pieces to, to, to start the play. 
unfortunately we don't have any script of any of the plays they did but we know about them this is a uh, uh, you see this is black and white uh, uh, for the new kind of painting which they introduced to iraq which is the impressionist point impressionist you know the french impressionist uh, 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 art which is but in in uh, in different way it's, it's not it's pointillism and uh, the way uh, uh, Bia Bonar was doing so when you take a photograph black and white you, you don't get actually much better than this that's why when uh, Jabetsky want to to uh, to paint uh, uh, Faik Hassan's mother, a portrait, and that was shame in Baghdad to let a foreigner or any stranger to sit in the front of uh, an old lady or any lady in Baghdad and, and, and look at her, uh, let alone uh, uh, paint her. But uh, they convince her that okay, she sit and she will see and she will decide and uh, which painting she like. And then she said, okay, I will sit on one condition that you don't take these pictures out of the home, or out of my place. And they agreed to that. Fayek, her, her son, and Jabatiski. So uh, they start painting, and he uh, was the, one of the you know the people who brought the pointillism and. Uh, uh, the new way of paintings, like in Iraq, towards at the time, uh, and he did the portrait in that way. So when they show it to her, she she refused to to recognize it. She said, "Oh, this is not good. What is this? Not a picture. What do you mean by this?" Uh, okay, take it away. She ag agreed to take the painting away, and that's why how the painting get out of her home. But he exhibited that in in Palestine and then he exhibited in Cairo, and then it was lost, gone. We don't know where it is. We have only one uh, image uh, of it, black and white, I'll, I will show you. Uh, this is uh, what one of the, this is the Polish, uh, you know, sketchbooks, some of them we have. This is the lady, and she, she refused that, she hated it, she said, take it away, I don't want to see it. So that's why they, they, they managed to take it away. And this is drawings, you know, they, they do sketching and drawings in the streets. This is in Mosul actually. But I think this is not a sketch, uh, this is maybe a, a print, this is uh, uh, engraving, I think. It's not a, a pen, it's a, uh, But actually we don't have these things. I don't know where it's gone. And there in the exhibition, the king himself, the bought four paintings from uh, uh, Jabotsky and Yarima uh, and these paintings we don't know where they're gone they disappeared as well uh, this is the file and how can I get rid of this file now How can I? Dear Yosef, you need to stop sharing okay, yes, yes, and yes. open your file and open the next one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wrote uh, in the chat that he, meaning you, Yosef, that you were talking about Edward Matuszczak. Yes. And the painting of uh, the uh, fake uh, Hassan mothers. Mother, yeah. And uh, the other artist that you mention a lot is Józef Czapski. Yes. I know it's a very difficult sound. Ch, ch, like no, cha, 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 cha. Say it in Iraq. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Joseph Chapsky. Chashlonek, we say Chashlonek. Mm -hmm. hey. Right. Chasib, Chasib is my uncle. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now. Now open the folder you want to show us. Okay. Yeah. Open the painting, one of the you know pictures, and then start sharing. And then you'll be able to go from one to another. All right. So. I will show you first Faik Hassan. No, not Faik Hassan. Let me go to Yusuf because there is a picture I want to talk about to show you. 
uh, copy and should come to fire here. Paste. Okay. So this is Faiq Hassan by himself. And uh, you, you need to share your screen. Yeah, I know. Just give me one second. Share. And what is it here? Share. Do you see it? Hi. Okay. This is it. And we go share now. Share screen. Share. Do you see that? Yes. This is Faiq Hassan. But this painting, after the American invasion to Iraq, was stolen and 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 uh, they made many copies from it so this one uh, the pipe was added to the painting you can see it's not actually a part of the original uh, image this is him he painted his 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 self portrait and you can see this the way he painted i will show you it's similar to jabaski's work in the when he was studying in the Beaux art you see, this is Faiq. This is Faiq in the middle. Do you see this? Faiq and his students. Fascinating, fascinating portrait and fascinating painting, a uh, picture. Papa. Yeah, this picture yes. used to take us to paint in outside Baghdad. And that on his right, I, I am, this is me. Yes, right. our Yosef. Yeah, I'm on his right hand side. Yes. Yes. So Faye uh, uh, was doing this before, even before the, the, the Polish came to Baghdad, to Iraq. But after them, he, he said, and I heard him saying that after he met the Polish, now his aim is not to copy nature, but to copy the influence of colors on nature. The, to explain the colors in the nature, not to copy it. And that's what he forced on his, on his students in the institution in 1942. And he forced them, okay, copy the nature, but don't copy it like it is, like a picture. You are not a camera. You should copy it in a way which makes sense, which make people feel the colors and touch the colors. Like the impressionist, used to do so that's one of the practice we were out painting and under his surveillance you see he's very tough world he was very tough with us i mean if you make a mistake if he if you make something he doesn't like he come with his, his massive brush and cross your painting and said start it again so no no i will complete this i will correct it and he would say no 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 this is gone start again don't correct a painting just leave it and I will show you some other thing. Uh, this is me. Uh, this is his mom. This is one of his early paintings. He was very famous for, for uh, horses and, 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 sorry. This is one of the models he did, but I don't know why they are very small. I couldn't make them bigger. Do you see it now? It's not a good picture. Good, good, nice. Yeah, that's his, he did from a model this is his mural i wanted to show it in order like how he developed but i can't it is messy uh, this is a mural a very large mural in baghdad you see the size of it it's a mosaic mural and he did that after the revolution in 1958 and the the, the place now known as uh, square of Faiq Hassan or Jadariyat, the mural of Faiq Hassan, the people meet there. And, you know, it's a place known in Baghdad and all over Iraq. And I will show you what is in there. Uh, 
this is him again in the class he was teaching us I am the one who's standing in front of him sorry I, I, I don't know how do I do that yeah that's him uh, this is the mural in Baghdad the fascists when the fascists came to power they wanted to put to, to put it down they painted it the, you know it's, there are birds above and they hate birds birds means communism so they painted them and by time uh, the paint they put on has gone away i mean so the the, 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 <laughs> the original one came back yeah yeah this is him and me he was showing me something on a painting I was doing and he used to to choose some of the paintings from his students to finish it when he likes a painting he finish it, finish it for you uh, and he he used to say there is a in, in a model there is one great corner to paint and there are th 360 other corners uh, to paint as well but they are not uh, as important as the one the good one and the good artists who will find that point so when when you you want to make a, a successful portrait you need to find this point first it's you 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 gain the third of the success when you know where to sit uh, so he was uh, I was painting and he he just okay he, he wanted to finish it and I will show you how did he finish this is it this is the painting. So I was doing this and he finished it for me. And later I found out that this guy is an Iraqi, he became an Iraqi painter and now he lives in Leeds. Yeah, and this is another painting he finished for me. He didn't finish, but he just put, this is the, the model was, uh, uh, became my wife later i'm just and i still have these two i found them in iraq when i went these two paintings uh, this is his mural then he turned into a modern art and then abstract but he went back always to 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 his his portraits and his horses which is his love this is one of the beautiful landscapes he did from the, the impressionist way but i couldn't find a good copy unfortunately this is one of the best actually yeah what else this is the one of the practices he he was like order us to do it in, in, in a part of our curriculum when he was teaching us this is me copying delacroix but you see the painting is not finished uh, I did that 1972 uh, we have to copy from French mainly French uh, classic or romantic paintings so this is my copy this is my practice here yeah. this is his painting in Baghdad and he said he 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 was with some Polish artists doing working in the street and people just gather around them and see what they're doing people haven't seen paintings painters before in the street and then you know the very uh, poor areas of baghdad and, and the, so once one time he took us me and my colleagues and a man came very angry and he thought we are architects who want to 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 see which building should be demolished to open a new street or something we have we're doing a, a new planning so he was very angry and he said to us he said look this man is angry at you now and he was angry at me when i was young <laughs> painting in these places yeah so it is very strong for for a young artist you see that is one of his late or middle uh, uh paintings then he went back as, as i said to his uh, portraits yeah this is one of his 
main you know horse ho horse horses he loves horses and he can't do them very quick so that's the part when he became an abstract or something painter he's very strong colorist he's very strong he okay so that's fire i will close this uh, what shall I do? Stop sharing. Uh, and I put this down. And this is very complicated. Now, Jawad Salim, the other man, the pioneer. The one who married an English woman when he studied in England. Yes? Sorry, sorry, I didn't oh, hear. Oh, sorry, I said the one who married a Polish woman. Sorry, an English woman. Yes, I have a photograph of them here. I will yes. show you. Yeah. Lorna Salim. Lorna, yes. She came to my studio here. Now she died, unfortunately. Yeah. This is Lorna and Jawad in Baghdad. Do you see it? Yes, Yosef, we can see. You can't. But how can I change it? Doesn't move. Ah. Do you have more pictures in this folder? Yeah. So maybe you made it big. So you need to have it in the uh, uh, in the actual size. I, so I, I repeat that now. Okay. Okay. It's again the same comes the same okay i will i will show you another one mm -hmm. yes that's salim but there isn't any of these arrows uh, i can't see them just show them one at a time doesn't matter all right so this is him okay and now this is you see, although he he was very much influenced by the Polish artists, but his art took different direction. Okay, he didn't do. Uh, and he 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 say something about that. Uh, he he went back into more traditional forms, very very old forms. Babylonian, everything. He said, like Jabeski used to speak to him or to talk to him about how to use uh, your own habitat, your own environment as part of your uh, practice and to go back to your own history. Okay. So, what is the history at the time when people used to? Uh, let, let me just put some light here. Sorry. History at the time was people go back to Babylonian, Ashurian time. So that's what he, uh, what Jawad used. And that is the, the, the main essence of his theories in art, which influenced the all Iraqi artists after him and most of the Arab countries and Middle East countries with these ideas. I mean, his ideas is to go back to your roots, but not to stay in your root, but not, don't stay there as a prisoner, just use it to make new art, new artwork. Uh, what happened is when the fascists came to power again in 1963, and then they came back in 1967, uh, they changed this, you know, the depth of, of, of you, our history. They went back only to the Islamic period. Nothing before that, or not important. What is before that was not important. Jawad went down further to the Sumerian and Babylonian time. The, the, the national, national parties, the fascists, I call them, uh, they, they wanted to say that our history start from when the Arab the Muslims invaded Iraq in the seventh century. 
not before that. So that has been changed. I mean, they use the theory of going back to your own history, look back at, to, to your origins, to your roots. But what is the roots? They, they try to change that. The root, the, our roots are not an Iraqi roots. It's an Arabic roots. That's what they wanted to do. Although Iraq is not only for Arabs. I mean, there are many nationalities in Iraq. So what he did, Jawad, he did, for example, this. Uh, let me show you this one. Where is it? Here. Okay. And then now I go here. Uh, share. Share. Do you see that? Yes, yes. Thank you. He is, you know, he's a sculptor, mainly. Okay. So that's what this is one of his... Uh, reliefs and this is his painting if you if you look at the, the medieval paintings in iraq he uh, inspired a lot by by that period look here and he he used to say that our history is very rich we shouldn't stop i mean it's all open we can use all of it of course you can see lots of influence from european art but he didn't do like jabski wanted him to do impressionism art he didn't do that he just did his modern art although he was very influenced by jabski but he has his own mind and he had he learned from jabski how to think he said i learned how to think about art how to use the, your theories in your art, not to copy a practice, not to do similar to what they do. How do they paint? But how do they think about painting? So he said, that's what I learned from them, which is very important. This is him in his studio, although he died very young. I mean, he died 42. But his influence is still up to date on all our art movement. This sculptor is the, the political uh, uh, prisoner. He did it for Musabaka, uh, uh, for uh, competition. Competition, yes. Yes, for a competition in, in London here in the Royal Academy or in the state, either Royal Academy or the state. And he, he got the first prize. That was when he came back to England after the war in 1944 or 45. I, I don't know when he came back. 44, I think he came back. Yeah, so, and this one, we have photos of it. We don't, the original should be here in London. This is his massive, relief this is bronze made about the revolution this is the biggest uh, sculptor in the whole country i can't see faisal abi is there faisal is one of the renowned students of fire he's one of the big names and i, I hope he can say something today this is joad the part of details from from the thing there. where is that yeah okay so here 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 so that's about jawad yeah can faisal hear me faisal to smile yeah 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 no, you should oh. i'm with you uh, good worry about that yeah, I, I I write some remark and some notes about what you say. Yeah, so maybe I can to great okay. interview with the yeah. Okay. Screen, uh, now uh, I will show you some. Uh, uh, who is else? Who else? Uh, ah, stop sharing.
okay and we go that and switch this off now we 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 will see uh two of five hassan and jawad uh, students who became i mean you no know, one of them is his student the other one is not uh, who became uh, a very renowned uh, uh, artist in not only in Iraq but in in, in Arab world as well. Uh, he still did not do what Fayek, although Fayek taught him, but he didn't do as Fayek did. He did. He followed Jawad, and most of lots of people followed Jawad, including Faisal, who was taught by fire in his practice he does portraits from jawad uh, from uh, uh, fire uh, 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 laboratory let's say and he and his paintings about baghdad is from jawad or influenced a lot by jawad i hope Faisal will talk about that. So this is Kalm Haidar, the student who taught me composition. He taught me composition. Okay, look at the picture. Uh, I will show you the picture first. Uh, oh. Do you see that picture? Yes, Yosef, we can see. Okay, picture. this is five. Uh, this is the uh, Kalm Haider in the middle, and this is our class hmm. in 1973. I'm standing. I can recognize you. Yeah, mm -hmm. Anahid, which became my wife. Mm. And these are artists. They still practicing. Uh, many of them actually. Uh, This is his uh, Kalm work, Kalm Haider work. This is the same practice. I mean, he we go out to paint. And this is me in the middle. Kalm follow the same this is Faisal. I always came here in the Faisal with Muhammad Makia, the great architect who used to run the Kufa Gallery in London for so many years. And he had many beautiful buildings in the Middle East, a lot of buildings. Faisal was doing his portrait in my studio, and I did this photograph before the portrait was finished. Faisal is standing with the with the scarf and Makia, the architect, he is one of the founders of the Iraqi uh, uh, Artist Society in Baghdad in 19, I don't know, 50 something Faisal, I don't know, Faisal will know better. This is again, uh, Kazm Haider. Oh, this is no, this is another one. This is Nur al-Rawi came here. This is Kazm Haider. And this is Kalm Haida. So you see, although they, they were influenced by the classical way of painting, but the Iraqi art movement took different directions and became wider than that understanding only of a, a classical way of copying the nature of even only Impressionism. It goes everywhere, it went everywhere. Especially after you know, the diaspora where so many painting painters left Iraq and went to study in Europe as well. Like, you know, Faisal and so many other colleagues first and we followed, so we followed. Yosef, uh, may I just draw, you, draw your attention yeah. to the fact that it's after half past eight and we have the meeting till nine o'clock. It's okay. all fascinating. 
Okay, but so stop. maybe we need to leave a little bit of time for people okay, to okay. comment or have questions. So maybe something you would like to add now, just a couple of minutes, and then we'll let others speak. Yeah, okay, just one thing. When Jawad said about the Polish artist, I mean, uh, uh, some people do not really believe that the Polish artists have a big influence. I myself do not believe that they change the whole uh, direction or, or of the Iraqi art movement. They did some influence, but they did not do it. They, they are not uh, the people who decided our faith in art. Okay, they have influence, but not as big as some people understand. But I think the, 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 their main, uh, well, like Jawad said, their main effect was uh, uh, how to think about art, not how to paint, how to copy an artist, the style of an, another artist. I myself, maybe Faisal, I don't know, I don't believe that they have a very big impact on the Iraqi art movement, uh, but they did have something. They opened, like Jawad said, they opened our eyes to new things happening in the world okay so that's that's uh, but he said jawad said look he said and that uh, the the, the uh, uh, revelation it happened uh, th this relationship uh, uh, bring brought to my life uh, was very strong and uh, the new ideas uh, was very strong on me, uh, uh, especially when these people mix what they think about with and how do they paint. It's not only they they practice painting or not only thinking about it. And he said that was this change the direction of my whole life, not only in art. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Yosef. Uh... It was very interesting, and I think we can have a, we have a raised hand. Widad, please go ahead. Yes. Uh, hi. Thank you, Yusuf, and uh, for this very informative and rich uh, the talk about uh, the influence of Polish artist uh, soldiers uh, in uh, in Iraq and. Uh, I want to convey our deepest condolences uh, for you, Yusuf, uh, for the passing of your brother. So um, I'm going to mention something that Faisal uh, and my husband Zuhair brought, it to my, brought to my attention, and that is how much the Polish artist yeah. in Iraq uh, influenced the way Iraqi artists thought about uh, their environment. Okay. Faisal uh, told me that uh, when the Polish artist asked the Iraqi artist uh, how, um, you know, this, their uh, understanding of patri patriotism, uh, Iraqi artists, you know, were apathetic and uh, did not, um, you know, because they were against their government yep. who was un uh, under the, the British protectorate yeah. In Iraq at that time was a kingdom. Said to them, he, you have to look at it. You will be threatened yeah. if you don't look at your country. And Polish uh, artists yeah. told them, you yeah. have to understand your environment and you have to be proud of yeah. your heritage and your history. That builds yeah. character and that will influence deeply your your art. And many of the paintings you showed us of Faak Hassan and Jawad Salim have that. Uh, 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 yeah, influence where they have drawn their environment, their culture, and their heritage. Is that right, Faisal? The sense of patriotism through understanding the environment and being proud of it. Yeah, don't forget, this, this was young artist at the time. And even uh, the national feeling in Iraq was not... Uh, uh, developed as now in, in, uh, at the time. People were, I mean, these young people, didn't, I think, were thinking, although there was, of course, there was the Iraqi Communist Party, which is 
a national party as well, and uh, which is a very big party in all of on all of Iraq. Um, but maybe I don't know. I, I know what they what they say to him. What he replied. Um, maybe because they thought, like Jawad uh, uh, Hafdrubi mentioned, he said, when I I think about my environment, but when I start painting, I think about European practice. They were young. They didn't. They didn't really. I think they they, they were not very sure about what they want to do with art. Uh, that's what I think. I don't know. That, that's that's how I can answer that. I don't know. Yeah. And also, Faisal brought to our attention yeah. the movement in Paris called the Les Nabis, the the prophets. Yeah. Uh, where it it deviated from impressionism, and yeah. it focused on painting the daily uh, mundane environment. Okay. Uh, you know, a home, uh, wife, uh, garden, uh, and, and some of the Polish artists who came to Iraq yeah. were students in Paris and were, um, I guess, maybe uh, influenced by Le Nabis, which is a, a, a Hebrew word, Nabi, prophet, yeah. that cultivates and enriches the life of others. Well, you see, Jawad said, uh, although I spent two years in Paris before the war, or one year, and I came to Baghdad, uh, I didn't understand much about the uh, Impressionists before I met the Polish and many other, uh, the post, post Impressionism. So he, I don't know if he had, if he missed the Impressionism, which is the biggest movement and being influenced by the uh, NBA. I don't, I don't know. But I think as a student, he, he must have seen everything. He spent his time in, in, in galleries and in the National Museum or in, in, in Beaux Arts, wherever. Uh, so I don't know if this particular thing. I haven't met it before, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe Faisal know better than me. I don't know. Maybe now we can invite Joanna Ciechanowska, the director of the Polish Art Gallery at POSC, at the Polish Social and Cultural Center in Hammersmith. Joanna, Hello. over to you. Yes, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we can. I mean, I can. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, uh, Joanna. Yeah. Um, Thank you, Yosef. Um, and I don't know if I can, if if you can hear me and see me. Yes, I can. Um, uh, in fact, you know, I'm grateful to you that you first mentioned to me uh, the influence, whether it was big or small, but influence of Polish artists uh, on Iraqi art, because I've actually spent two years in Iran. And I was always surprised, even now I'm surprised, even younger Iranian artists, they are so completely different in style of painting to Iraqi artists. Um, just so totally different. And I could never understand why there would be such a huge difference between the two countries, which are actually close together and have to a certain extent have similar heritage uh, whether it is Polish artists or influence of European art, but it certainly is something there. Now, um, I wanted to mention that I have a book at home, which I'm going to show you here, which is a huge book yep. uh, called Anders Artists. And it is actually in English and in Polish, and it was published uh, by Jan Viktor Sienkiewicz in 2017. Yeah. And it is available and it's massive book and with absolutely massive amount of paintings. Great. Uh, of, yeah. of is that the professor who spoke in the, in the post once? 
Yes, yes, yes. We actually yes. attended the uh, yes, opening yes. of yes, the exhibition. Yes. I invited you and I introduced you. To yes, I spoke to you. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is one thing I wanted to say. There is also another book which is about Polish artists, um, sort of second book uh, of the series. But also I wanted to mention that um, a few years ago, I think it was actually a couple of years, well, probably more than a couple, there is the, I attended a, a, a huge um, kind of event in National Gallery um, and it was to do with Józef Czapski okay. and a book written by Eric Karpeles, who is an American, and who was basically fascinated by Józef Czapski's life. And this is the book that was published, uh, I think, in New York. Uh, let me see the date. Uh, it doesn't say date here. Um, let me see. Uh, gosh, I can't find the date. I can't find the date. But anyway, uh, just a few years ago, and it is about it. It is a biography of of Yusuf Chapsky and um, and. Is there anything you know, about his work in Iraq? Yes, yes, it is absolutely his biography, um, and it is in English. It's an American that's written it. And he's a writer and a painter, and he was basically fascinated by his life. Okay. And uh, here it says part one, I became a painter. Uh, Josef Czapsk was born in 1896. And second part, soldier, prisoner, survivor, which is 1939 to 1945. And then diplomat, uh, advocate, and then returning to painting and I believe that he died in 1993. In Paris. So, so, so quite a long life. Yeah. And I can recommend this book. It really is very, well, very great. Yes. How can we uh, find any opportunity to translate these things into, into Arabic? Because I think in Iraq, we need to sort this out. People say, well, we, different, we don't know much about it. We, we need to sort it out. I think if we translate some of these books, we, mm. we, then we will know what's exactly happened. Yes, yes, okay. that would be interesting. Can't, I mean, it is difficult to say only few artists influence the whole Iraqi art movement. No, 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 that's not what I meant. What, and, what I, you know, sometimes themselves small... went to study in Rome and in, 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 in England mm. itself uh, and in Paris. Uh, they all, you know, uh, our teachers and uh, my teachers and uh, Faisal's teachers uh, uh, studied there and they, they, they're very good artists, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And we, they taught it's us. It's the influence of Europe. It's, yeah. it's, it's what, yeah. what I really meant to say is that it's so different. I was really, because even now in Polish Center, occasionally I have an exhibition of of somebody uh, from Iran or young Ira Iranian artist, and I just can't get over it how different it is. Yeah. How, the, how beginning, the, the, the government, the king, uh, sent some people to to study art very early mm. from Iraq. Yeah. And are uh, uh, Iraqis are. Uh, I don't know how to explain that. Uh, uh, there are so many uh, art uh, uh, groups formed in Iraq in that time in the 50s, so many of them. And, and these people were, have lots of theoretical ideas about art. They were not only practicing mm -hmm. painting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and they took it seriously. <laughs> if I can't say, they took yeah. it seriously, really. And uh, uh, that's why I think th their art is maybe different to, that, to, to others. Yeah, and they are, they are very good indeed. They are, the, what you showed us and what I know about you, they are, they are very, very good artists. So thank you. Okay, Joanna, thank you very much. I will, I will come to you once to see these books, if you don't mind. 
No, no, I don't mind at all. They are actually should be still available through the Polish uh, newspaper that has, uh, it's called Tydzień Polski, which has an office in Polsk. Um, and yeah, all come there. yeah. And, and because, because, you know, uh, uh, Professor Hinkiewicz wrote it, but he wrote it and published it with the help of an editor, the editor of this Polish uh, weekly. Yeah, okay. Okay, thanks. All right, great. Thank you very much, Joanna. Thank you. Thank you both for the interesting contributions. I noticed Tony, uh, Anthony wrote uh, in the chat that uh, he's glad that the, um, that Professor Sienkiewicz's book is translated into English. As far as I know, uh, it's not. The book that is translated is um, the album, which has beautiful uh, pictures, uh, you know, representations of paintings, that one is bilingual, but the book itself uh, is not. Uh, I tried to share the screen. I'll do it again. Uh, yes, so that's the book, the, the first edition from 12, uh, 2013, Artyści Andersa by Jan Wiktor Sienkiewicz. That one is in Polish. Yeah. And yeah, that that's something that is... Uh, that's know, which has very five, comprehensive, five, yeah. Five so that's what we don't have translated in, into any other language. Yeah. And Italians, I'm sure, be also very interested in it because of the Polish uh, Second Corps, uh, so-called Anders Army, uh, fighting in Italy, fighting the, the Nazi, the fascist in Italy and the big battle of Monte Cassino, etc. So mm -hmm. I'm sure it would be interesting. Lots of uh, Polish soldiers well, stayed on in, there. In, if I may just add that the book that I have in front of me, it is, it is actually in Polish and in English, and it's not just an album, it's not just uh, a catalogue of paintings. Um, there is a huge amount of information here, um, the whole section about Baghdad. Okay. Um, so, so you ought to see that. Uh, yeah, I only had it in my hands for a short time, but you know, I just uh, have be, have been in. I mean, it is uh, publicly visible because uh, on Facebook, when I, uh, I mean, I had some communication on on Facebook. It's uh, visible for everybody with Professor with Professor Shinkiewicz today, uh, who was mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, talking about the book needing needing to be translated. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. So let's see in Tony. Faisal, you back to good AC? Yes, I think uh, you wanted oh, well. to invite uh, Faisal, yeah? I'm sorry because I'm uh, entering your event uh, late. And I think the important influence of the Polish artists on the Iraqi art is, is the position of the artist about his country and uh, and what uh, they have to do uh, in their works in general, not as a technique, but as a position uh, comes mean nationalist artist, a localist artist, which must be researched in their uh, environment, in their klima, in their I mean, uh, history from Mesopotamian to Islamic uh, civilizations. So this is the good, this is the more important um, yeah. idea, which I mean, push the Iraqi artists to research and there has been uh, treasure and heritage and so on. This is the first one. For the, I think the influence of the police artists in our artist movement, uh, I think uh, it is not as they said and they talk about it as like Jabra, for example, and 
Smiley Sheikh, even Jawad and Fayek, when they talk about this influence, they exaggerate a little bit because we haven't any as uh, mean uh, painting from them to reflect this influence in their I mean, uh, life. Uh, and maybe few painting which do it as a trying to see how this uh, way or how this style um, could help the Iraqi artists to do their I mean, style or own style or original I mean, uh, painting. This is, I think, the idea which is mean, more important to, like Japuski, for example, when he talk with Jawad Salim, he talk about this point. You have to love your uh, mean, country, your nation, and that, and then you can to do something good as a painting. If you don't like your country, your nation, you can't do something good as a painting or as an artistical I mean, uh, work. This is the point, the more important point of this influencing of influence of the police center. Of course, Jabuski is it's critical art, art the critic art, art critics and uh, lit, uh, literature and writer and is the director of the formation of the Polish uh, culture in that time. And he met many artists, uh, Iraqi artists like Fayek and Jawanda and so on. But the impressionist and the post impressionist in Iraq is, is more old than the, I mean, the present of the Polish center because we know, and I think Yusuf uh, knew very well that uh, Akram Shukri has an, a painting which called this mean uh, folks uh, London, London's folks. Sorry, and this is the, which painted by 1931 and uh, exhibited in the exhibition of the uh, Iraqi in the Iraqi in Baghdad actually in that time. So the impressionist and the post-impressionist, it, it was settled in the Iraqi I mean, area before the Polish artists, Polish, Polish artists come to Iraq in uh, 1942. So this, uh, we have to take this um, point um, as a, it's mean, very important, I mean, date of uh, the impressionist and the post impressionist, and even the Nabi's uh, group, which I mean, uh, uh, influenced the Polish artists, huh? in particular Pierre Bonnard and uh, Bayard. This is what I can to say now, and we and with this uh, painting which we saw it now, we we saw the Picasso and Matisse and Paul Klee more influenced than the uh, Polish artists and the ours I mean um, artist movements I mean in Iraq. Definitely. Um... Yes, the whole point is that both our um, artists, Polish and Iraqi artists, were definitely influenced by what was happening in Western Europe, in France and everywhere else. Many Polish artists uh, earlier on were educated in uh, Munich, in Gen Germany. Uh, there was also a school of arts in, uh, which was popular uh, with the Poles and, of course, uh, Paris. Uh, later on, it became London as well. And of course, uh, what happens with art, the, the, the artists uh, influence, the, the styles mix, merge, and um, 
this is the the way something new is created and i think this is what we we managed to um, agree upon to tonight and it's been wonderful to be able to spend this two hours uh, and you can notice that we only touched on the surface kind of uh, of the subject and the time has you know has run we've run out of time it's it's uh, nine o'clock already but if anybody has any comments or questions i mean maybe we'll just thank those who are in a hurry and need to uh, leave us now i would like to express my gratitude for spending your evening with us and um, gratitude to yosef for despite this tragic day in his life, being able to come and, and join us uh, and share his knowledge with us. And uh, on behalf of everybody else would like to express our uh, deepest condolences to you and to your family and friends. Thank you. Uh, thank you. And uh, so, like I said, thank you everybody for joining and for being here. And like I said, there is plenty more to say, to, to discuss, uh, but not within the space of two hours. Uh, however, if you see the chat, you can make a copy of the chat if you want and use the names that we suggested or the links for, for, for yourself to do further research. And remember about the gallery at POSC, where Joanna always shows something fascinating. Uh, and now those who would like to, to add something to, to say, uh, the official meeting is over, but if we, if we have anything else to add, please welcome. Yeah, there was a, a fourth uh, file I wanted to show you, but uh, there is no time, actually. It's about Mahmoud Sabri. Please do. I mean, it's, uh, you know, if somebody is in a hurry, we uh, thanked uh, already. Iraqi but... artists. And yeah, you yeah. can see his work is completely different, although Certainly. He, he, he was, Mahmoud Sabri was born 1927, I think, or 26. Yusuf, would you be able to write this name in the chat box? Mahmoud, where is the chat? Ah, don't worry. So you can email me. Yeah, I can see it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, because I've been writing like uh, <coughs> Hassan and uh, Jawal say, say it's Salim. Uh, yeah, great, great. Thank you. Mahmoud Sabri, can I say something, please? Yes, Hassan, please. I, this is for Yusuf in Arabic because he, uh, Yusuf Azizi, Al Baqa fi Hayatik. I my deep condolence for this uh, event, uh, sad event, sad news. I'm so sorry about it, terribly sorry. Uh, Shukran, my, Shukran, 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 ممكن حبيبي ممكن اي تسلم فيصل شكرا جزيلا تسلم حبيبي انا اشكرك I can see the hand from Joanna uh, Joanna would you like to speak uh, you, are, you are muted sorry no, I I don't think so. I, I ah, think you forgot that, to to switch yeah, off there. Yeah, I think I forgot yes, to switch okay, off the okay. Yeah, I thought that you wanted to say something here no, and now. No, thank hey, Yosef, you. So let's see your album. Ah, huh? sorry. Uh, let's see this folder that you you wanted to show. Oh, okay, from Mahmoud Sabri. You see, he 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 did differently to. To where we're talking about the influence mm -hmm. of Polish artist, he did his own. Right. I will show you now. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> okay. <coughs> He's more influenced by Picasso, for example, more than 
the Polish. <clears throat> This thing is st still difficult. Wait, I will do it again. <laughs> Share screen now. And here. But this is small. I don't know why it's so small. Don't worry, we still can see it, Yosef. Yeah, okay. So this is Mahmoud Sabri, uh, who did a fantastic work, especially about the revolution of Algeria. And this influenced Iraqi artists a lot, really. And has big influence in Arab world, or in the Middle East. Mm. Yeah. He died recently in London. I mean, he lived long, actually. No, this is Fayek, sorry. This is as well, this beautiful painting about Algerian revolution. But I didn't find more because I was in a hurry uh, after this news of my brother. Mm. This is him. And he, he's a founder of a new uh, a theory in art, which is called quantum uh, realism. Is that right, Faisal? Yeah, yeah. And he had, he wrote a lot about it and uh, uh, he had a book about it, and there are lots of studies about his new theories. He, he, he is a thinker. He is not only a painter. He was a thinker and a philosopher in art. Yeah, so that's the one I wanted to show you. There are many examples in Iraqi art which, uh, which can show how, how wide is this art movement and, uh, and how, how, how uh, differ from one each other, it's, it's, it's very, uh, uh, it has lots, all walks of art actually, you can say, in Iraqi art movement. And it's very open-minded and lots of work in it. And actually, unfortunately, the, the governments who came to Iraq one after the other did not put any effort to, to introduce the, the whole art movement. They only introduced what it belonged to them. Like Saddam Hussein and the Ba'this, they, took care of those kind of Ba'thi artists and so on. But they, they, they ignored the rest of the art movement. Yeah. And one more thing I wanted to say about Kazum Haidar, when I said he's influential uh, artist and, and he was, and he, he taught me composition in the Academy of Fine Art. And I worked with him in, in theater, because I used to help him to, to do the, 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 uh, decor the decorations of the art, of, of, of the theater, because he was uh, uh, specialized in theater decoration. Uh, uh, so I thought we uh, put him in a special place in the Iraqi art movement, not because he did like his teachers or like his uh, uh, influential artist, but because he did something different to them. Because he has his own way, which you didn't see before in Iraqi art movement. And you didn't see in the Polish art movement who, or the Polish influence on, on Iraqi art. This is his own way. It's a new way. That's it. Sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yosef. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned another name now. Would you be able to write it again in the chat, please? Kalum Haider? Yeah. Oh.
I check if I, uh, you know, if I wrote it right. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> or maybe without hedge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, because of the time, we only choose few artists, but the Iraqi art movement had a lot of names, lots of good names and lots of good artists, actually. I think that's been a good thing about this evening, is that you've opened up Iraqi art for a lot of us who maybe knew very little about it before. So thank you for that. I, I didn't hear you properly. Sorry. Um, I think the good thing about this evening, yeah, you used the opportunity to open up our understanding of Iraqi art. Oh, that's great. Some of us may not have had before. Yeah. And it's like the, the Polish has been, been an intro <laughs> for all of us into much more. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good opportunity to talk about Iraqi art, actually. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to focus on now. Yeah, yeah, and put to the light actually. And I'm as little Joanna uh, of the POSC give us an opportunity one time to talk about Iraqi art. Mm. Although we had an exhibition there once. As you know, the Iraqi art movement is very influential to the Middle East. It's the first and the deep, the deepest and the wider. So it's very influential. So that's why I'm suggest to the post to give us opportunity to talk about, to introduce our Iraqi art movement to the audience, to the people. Yes, maybe that's a good idea. We can talk about it. Mm. Okay, that's great. Should go, Faisal. Sorry. Uh, we hope, we hope, yeah, we, we, we need it actually. It's very necessary for us. But I want to say something about the prize of the unknown political prisoner of Jawad Salim. Yeah. You, you said that he, he, he got the pri first prize. Yeah. I know it is the prize of the jury. It is out of the... The price of jury, yes. Yes, competition. Yeah. Because the first price is for the uh, Pitlar. I mean, uh, the great uh, sculpture, uh, British sculpture. Yes, you're right. First Rich Pit Pitlar, yeah. who got the this first price of yeah. this uh, yeah. subject. Yes. Just yes. remember, the correct, some people uh, wrote about it. I, I will tell you when we speak. Yeah. Some other people wrote something different about it. So yeah. I just, you know, want to say uh, it has won something, yeah. which we don't have it now. I mean, it's not in Iraq, this thing. It's in, in here. I don't know where they, 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 they did it, uh, which. Uh, uh, institution I, I i don't know if it was the the royal academy or the goldsmith i don't know actually for the, yeah. the exhibition but um, and by by the way this is the, this the competition arranged by the uh, american uh, association which mean do it against what happened in the union Sovietic at that time because you know that problem between the uh, liberty of talking and uh, yeah. that's why. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you very much. Thanks to everybody. Joanna, now are we released? Can we go? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Ah, the poster, the one that, uh, which poster, Nadja, the one I showed? Because Nadja had a question. Yes, Nadja, yeah. that was uh, yes. So that was the poster by uh, Faik uh, Faik, Faik uh, Hasim. Is it by Faik Hasan? By Faik Hasan? Yes. 
Yeah, I'm trying to find it now again. Uh, Just because, uh, yes. Yeah. Because it's a very yeah. Because this this one, yes. Oh, I'll share it. I'll share it. Wait, Hang on. Yusuf Azin Azin Al Hara. Yes, that's the one. That's yes. the one. So, and then, uh, if you yes. look at the top left, it, you should be able yes. to see. If you plant, oh. you will win. And it was right. a poster Bye. made in 1943 by Fake Hassan. Uh -huh. So, you know, the time when the Polish uh, army was, uh, has left or still, or was about to leave, part, the, the, the part that uh, left. Hmm. And this is an example of this war post poster, which were also uh, popular, popular, uh, common in Great Britain at the time. And of course, we know that uh, Britain uh, was kind of a, a smooth manipulator uh, over Iran at the time uh, and Iraq. So kind of uh, this was inspired. So these posters similar in, in, in Britain were created by artists specializing in it, uh, who uh, were um, commissioned by the government to encourage uh, the population to grow their own crops because of the need to to supply the army, etc. So there was there were shortages of, of food. So, but for example, in London, in Britain, many parks, open spaces were uh, turned into allotments, and people grew their vegetables, their their fruit in order to be able to feed themselves. And similar thing was was encouraged in Iraq and. Uh, I guess this was the commission uh, work uh, for the government, British controlled government uh, that uh, Faik Hassan um, completed. And if you reached to our YouTube recordings from last year's event, events uh, which were uh, put into chunks by our dear Sue uh, Peach, who probably needs to have some rest because she's been monitoring us tonight as again, moderating. So um, we were talking last year about the two artists uh, from uh, Poland of the Jewish origin, of Jewish origin, who uh, came to live and work uh, before the war, during the war and afterwards. <laughs> Louis and him were, were their names. And if you go on talking and exploring uh, YouTube channel, you can find them all and please forgive that they are not uh, very professional performances from Anthony and myself, but that's the way we are. And we are very happy to be able to facilitate the, the ground for Yosef and for others to, to present these important causes and to shed light on uh, the, the aspects that are not discussed about in our communities. So. Thank you. It's very lovely. This has been very lovely. Thank you so much. For you, Seth. Our condolences for your loss. And this has been very, very lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to everybody and to Sue, who has been like our. Thank you. Now. Thank you, Yosef. Thank you, everybody. You know, we are in yes, touch. Sir. You've got our email address. Uh, you know how to reach she us. She will be patient. Mm -hmm. Sorry? I'm, I'm talking to Sue. I said, thank you very much. You've been very patient with yes. me. My... No, it's, all, it's been very interesting. I've enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Faisal, Joanna, Anthony, and all the Polish contributors. Okay. Thank you Bye -bye. so much. Bye-bye.